two months ago, the infection hit the island of Naf. I've been surviving out here ever since, with nothing but my grandfather's gun. He taught me how to shoot as a kid, and now I'm putting those skills to good use. Before the infection hit, I used to work at that very factory. Had a boss by the name of Slippery Jimmy, a real asshole. He used to cut in line at the vending machine. One day, I wanted to take a mountain dew out of there, the last one. Jimmy cut in line, took the mountain dew, smiled at me and walked away. I'll never forget the grin on his face. I swore revenge that day. Since Jimmy stuck around, the day of reckoning has come, my friend. Time to pay for your sins. Didn't call him Slippery Jimmy for nothing. He was hard to hit. But that must have hurt. It didn't put him down. Now Jimmy can run. But Jimmy can't hide from me. I'm not a coward like he is. I'm not afraid to come in close and finish the job. This is what has come to in the apocalypse. Kill or be killed. But if you can get some revenge out of it, why the hell not? Shot him in the back like a dog. Jimmy didn't deserve any better. The bastard drank my Mountain Dew. All I got out of his cold corpse was a box of antibiotics. At night, I was gonna sleep better knowing that Jimmy was taking a dirt nap. But before I could find a place to rest my head, I heard a helicopter. People were trying to leave the island. But this one was flying low. Why was it doing that? When I saw it crash, I had to investigate. darkness. It never scared me, not even as a kid. And now, when I'm all grown up, it's my best friend. As I approached the wreckage, all I could smell was burnt human meat and ashes soaked in gasoline. Eventually the smell led me to the bodies. I was surprised to see how much was left of them. A pair of night vision. Body armor. These boys were geared. Probably ex-military. Trying to leave the island. Maybe they ran out of fuel. 300 blackout ammo. I wonder if there's a gun to go with that. I didn't need their bandages. My wounds stay fresh these days. No time to heal.
darkness is my friend, but it wasn't helping me find the gun. I needed some light. I figured my gas cooker would be enough. This was dangerous. The flame could attract other people. But that gun was worth it. I had to take the risk. Maybe this other fellow had it. No. But then I realized. night vision. My grandfather never taught me about these things, but it took me a while to figure it out. But not even though night vision could help me find the gun, it was probably lost in the crash. What were these fools doing out here? We should have left the island. They had a helicopter. But then the phone, I picked up one of them, got a message. Military supply drop. And a set of coordinates. Check my map. It was close. It was really close. Now the night vision and body armor were a good catch, but the supply drop was like winning the lottery. There she was, a beautiful steel bird, bringing me gifts from the heavens. I couldn't believe my eyes when I opened the box. Guns. Medicine, ammo. Everything you needed to survive. Somebody up there must really like me. I picked up a G36 chambered in 7.62. And all the ammo I could carry. I didn't have the greatest iron sights, but I figured I could get some optics for it. I needed to move fast. Other people may have seen the smoke. There was so much more I would have wanted to take. I couldn't carry much. A blood bag, in case I meet a friend. I left the rest for other survivors to find, and moved on. Next morning, I tracked down another one of Jimmy's associates. He used to come by the factory. Him and Jimmy would poke jokes at me. 
It's time to teach this guy a lesson. On the way there was a deer stand. Maybe the hunter may have, may have left an optic for me. But as I was approaching it, I heard. That sounds like a bad shot. Exactly what I expected from this guy. It was time I took a closer look. As I looked at the scope of my grandfather's gun, there were so many places he could hide. But I knew all I had to do was wait. He didn't know I was here, and eventually he had to show himself. There is no hunting like the hunting of man, and those who have hunted aren't man long enough and liked it never care for anything else thereafter. Ernest Hemingway was a very smart man. That day his words were true. His shotgun was music to my ears. There he was, scared to death. I scared him even more, just to make sure. hoping the infected would flush him out, but I had to be careful not to have a zombie problem of my own. I had lost the element of surprise, and there was no telling what kind of gun you may have found in there. Waited, the more I realized he could sneak out the back. Oh, he may have been watching me through a scope right now. I wanted revenge, but I had to be smart about it. He wasn't shooting back. I figured either he didn't know where I was or he didn't have anything to shoot at me with. His shotgun wouldn't do much at this range. So I had to move. I figured if he saw me leave, he would have come out of his hiding spot. Or maybe I could reposition and take a shot at him through those windows. The scenarios were playing out in my head and they all ended the same way, with his blood on the ground. wasn't looking out the windows. For a second there, I thought he might have left. Did I lose him? Did he sneak out the back and leave? No. He was trying to make a run for it. And he wasn't doing a very good job at it running out in an open field. 
Thank you. That grazed them. Good night. Didn't have my mom to do either. But at least I got the bullets back from my gun. Say hello to Jimmy for me. My revenge was complete. And I felt empty. I lacked purpose. All I wanted to do is kill. It was the only thing that was ever satisfying me anymore. All I could hope for is my next victim, or a warrior's death. Gun in my hand, going out in the blaze of glory. I know it's not what my grandfather wanted from me. I couldn't see anything else. I couldn't see a way out of this. I couldn't enjoy the beauty of nature around me. The freedom I had now. All I could think was, I hope that guy doesn't go on top of that building. I need to take cover. I had killed before, but this time it felt different. My blood started to boil. But it wasn't for the kill. There was something else. Something scary. My mind was cloudy. The infected were closing in. There was someone else around. I didn't see them. I only heard them. They started to panic. They were right behind me. I didn't know it at the time, but these were to be my last moments alive. I hope they have Mountain Dew in hell.